Hi everyone, it's Danny. I'm back with another 12 by 12 layout process video for you today. And um, this was a layout I made for uh, Virginia Walker's uh, scrapbook challenge week. So she had a week over on her Facebook group to celebrate the opening of her new Etsy shop, which is a cut files shop. Um, her Facebook group I will leave in the description box. It's Confessions of a Paper Addict. So um, one of the challenges was to scrap lift your favorite designer. So I chose uh, one of Virginia's own layouts that I absolutely fell in love with. And I'm using one of the cut files from her shop. And I'm going to use my sky kit from the scrappery to do this. I still haven't um, made too many layouts with this one. So I wanted to get digging in. And I love that wood grain paper. So this is all Cocoa Vanilla Midnight Collection stuff pretty much. Um, a couple of other like pink fresh goodies and things like that in there but um, I love this wood grain paper this is from the midnight collection cocoa vanilla and as you can see I've cut all those little flowers out and I've also cut out the solid flowers out of colored paper so I used the project life cards that came in the kit and that purple paper is from the reject shop I just wanted a touch of purple but it was a little bit too dark for me so I'm just going to use a little bit of white gesso to lighten those up so as you can see I've cut out the flowers and the leaves. Um, I've cut the white border out and I've also cut out the coloured solid. I'm not going to back them. What I've done, as you can sort of see of those little ones off to the side there on the right, I've just glued down the very centre of the border on top. And this is what Virginia did, so I'm totally copying her. Um, my colour scheme is a bit different, but the whole layout is basically the same. So I am just gluing down, as you can see, the very base of those leaves. On top and this is just going to create a lot of really pretty dimension and it just means I'll be able to layer things in between the two layers as you'll see a bit later there you go I've got them all laid out and I've sort of tucked tucked flowers between the two layers of the other flowers if that makes any sense and they just all layer together really beautifully and I've kind of offset that uh, border too on the flowers as you can see they're not lined up perfectly on top I've offset them a bit so you can tell that they're not um, glued down together and I can just lift up those petals and create lots of beautiful dimension so I've gone ahead trim my photo down to a square also apologies if you can hear my son he's sitting right next to me coloring in so um, and making plain noises if you can hear that sorry but you know mum life so there we go I've laid that out I haven't glued anything down yet um, but that that is pretty much how it's going to go I just I love those flowers they're so pretty and delicate with this color scheme on that wood grain going ahead with my photo I'm just going to uh, back it with a little bit of white tissue paper I like to do this um, especially on layouts like this where the colors are really soft and I'm using florals it's very very delicate and um, soft and pretty so the white tissue just helps to um, make the layout a little bit more softer than if you use just stuck white paper. So I'm taking all the offcuts from those Project Life cards that I used to cut the flowers out. Um, and I did all that in my silhouette. Uh, it's a, it's not a portrait, it's an SD. It's a really, really old model, but it works just fine to do, um, to do everything that I want it to do. So uh, those pieces, as you can see, there's only a little bit of a border left on them. They're not good for much, but they are really good for backing photos. So I don't throw any of my scraps away. Um, that That's just beautiful, that floral pattern peeking out from behind my photo now. So um, if I throw that away, I, I wouldn't have had that. And it's nice not to have to use nice big pieces of paper that you could use to back a cut file or to um, cut embellishments out of or um, anything like that it's kind of a waste to pop, the, pop those behind your photo where they're going to be mostly covered up. So I do like to use these very thin edge pieces. And as you can see, you only need a tiny bit there. I've barely got any, <laughs> any left on the side there where it's cut very close to the edge, but it works just fine for this. So I'm just using the pinks and the soft florals, pretty much the same, um, same colors I used in the flowers. And then just a little bit of this mint. This mint is from Kaiser Cross. Uh, Kaiser Crafts Everlasting collection that I've just got recently and it looks solid on camera now that I'm looking at it but it's actually got a very fine white polka dot throughout so I'm just putting a little touch of that all the way around my photo and then I do think I use yep I use this one as well so this is a lovely soft pink and I'm just using wet glue because those edges are quite thin so um, most of them I won't be able to get uh, a glue tape onto those edges because they're so thin and I do like to use wet glue a lot because it's strong <laughs> it's 
especially the one I use. It's um, just a tacky glue from Bunnings and it holds everything. So there we go, fully matted. I'm going to use my scissors and go around and rough up all the layers, just gently. I'm not going to go too rough on them, um, but I do go around and do all of those layers off camera separately. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and glue down my flowers. I'm happy with the placement of those. And again, I'm just popping some glue in the center because I want to be able to lift those petals up off the um, back of the paper. And I also go through, I don't think I do it on camera, but right at the end I pop some foam squares behind some of those petals just to lift, uh, lift them up off the page even more when they're in their page protector. So you would have seen this earlier. I pulled this out and trialed it and I did love it. Um, this is off the American Crafts Beautiful Thickers. Uh, set. It's all gold glitter, um, lots of phrases, absolutely gorgeous. They're foam and super glittery as you can see and I thought as soon as I started this layout I thought of this word. I've been trying to use this together for a little while um, and they're just, I mean look at the photo of my son and daughter. <laughs> it's just, it's one of my favourite photos ever. I just love it. They're so sweet together. Okay so these are also in the Sky Scrappery kit. These little puffy alphas, they're by Pink Fresh, and I think they're from the Indigo 2, Indigo Hills 2 collection. Um, so I'm going to use the mint ones, and I'm going to spell out happy. I do start putting them up there, but I, as you can see, I shift them down to fit. I realize they fit just perfectly on the other side of the loop of the H there. And the lines on that wood grain paper are really helping me line those up. Okay, so these die cuts are the Arabesque collection by, um, they're by Rosie's Studio. You can get them from the reject shop in Australia. And that's where I got mine from. Um, they're branded differently here, but they are Rosie Studio. And I'm just flicking through um, all these. I just, when I got this collection, I thought they it would match perfectly with my Sky kit because I don't actually have, I didn't get the embellishment kit this month. So I don't have, um, I have the chipboard, as you can see here, but I don't have any sort of die cut. So I thought this collection would go nicely with Midnight and it does, it's lovely. So what I'm doing, I do this sometimes, I don't always, but sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed with all the stuff I have to work with. So I just go through all my ephemera and bits and pieces and pick out the things that I think I will use. So I've done that with the chipboard and the die cuts and the flare there. So I've got a little flare button that I might use. And I'm going through the stickers. I do end up using that label sticker actually, but um, I'm not sure whether where I'm going to use it yet. So um, that mason jar with the flowers I put in there, I will take it off, but I actually really love... I really love it there, so it goes back on. <laughs> I'm playing with some of the chipboard florals here um, in the wreath. I want to add some more florals, but I think they're just too dimensional. They look fine on camera, but the chipboard, they just don't look right. They look really chunky, um, and all the flowers are really soft and delicate, so um, I do end up putting a few stickers in. This little phrase is from the uh, Arabesque die cuts. It says, sweet moments. I just thought that was perfect in that little spot just there. I'm trying some of these florals. Um, I think I just couldn't make them work because of those big black leaves um i don't know they look fine on camera now that i see them but I mean, at the time they just felt too much so i put in a little chipboard tag up the top there I, that will stay there uh not tag tab yeah so i'm trying to build a little cluster here at the top of my photo because um there's a bench a park bench in the background and it's not the prettiest uh bench um so i'm trying to cover it up as best i can it's blurred out but it's still there and I didn't love it so um, I'm going to use this butterfly I'm popping up the wings on a bit of foam just the one wing because the other wing is sitting on top of that flare button so that's perfect I love that little flare I'm trying to use my flare a bit more um, I've, I'm getting better I <laughs> actually really like using them um, another little die cut phrase there I think it says love and then at this point I switch in the um, the mason jar chipboard I just really liked it it was perfect there it's not too overwhelming and um, the chipboard didn't look too chunky there under the photo. So I've just cut off the extra bit so it would tuck under, under my photo nicely and trim that off. A couple of little floral die cuts from the die cut pack. I'm just trying to situate them as best I can. Apologies for the background noise there. Just tucking them in. I just want to fill in a couple of those spots that are a little bit uh, blank and empty looking. Gluing down a few bits and pieces. I don't always glue as I go but this one because I was scrap lifting I had a pretty good idea of what direction I was going in and where things would end up so um, I was happy to glue having a little trouble with this one now I've got too much dimension so things won't glue down <laughs> so here's where I decide to do some stickers and um, I like those a lot better than the chipboard they're just um, that little bit softer so I'm just going to tuck a few of those in some of the empty spots 
And yeah, that one fit a bit better, I think. I'm still trying with the chipboard there, as you can see, but <laughs> I switched out for the sticker. Okay, now I'm building my cluster up the top here. Um, I label makes a back on. That's a perfect place to put my date. And um, yeah, I think I just put the date. I don't really need much journaling. It wasn't um, a special story to tell. It. They just went to the park with their grandparents this day. So um, I'm using that shine bright chipboard piece. I like that up there. And that little uh, banner sticker, flag sticker. The little floral sticker right there. That's off the sticker sheet. And I've just written in my date with a grey, um, really soft grey pencil. Not pencil. <laughs> Statler fine liner. Can't speak today. Okay, I like this little phrase. This is out of the die cut pack as well. A little mint green phrase. I think it says be happy. And that's going right in the centre of that flower. These butterflies are actually from the Cocoa Vanilla More Than Words collection. I've just fussy cut them out of one of the papers. I've got a million of these, so um, I've just pulled those out. I like the butterflies I have there, but they're just a bit too big, and I want to stick one of these in the centre of um, that flower there. It's so pretty. I love that. I love butterflies. I have another one there. I just wanted to make this a bit um, more of a sort of darker pink, so I'm just taking the back of some packaging and just a, just a felt tip marker in a sort of raspberry red and added some water and dipped the wings of my butterfly in like that as you can see really easy it's just ink there's no reason you can't do that same as you would do with an ink pad okay now I'm pulling out the sequins I love these sequins oh, I tried to get some of those big big peach ones on but they're just a little bit too glaring in real life so I use a bunch of these really little sparkly white ones they're gorgeous um I thought they were white when I was doing the layout but they actually look really pink in certain lights so they're absolutely gorgeous I'm just taking a couple of extra bits off the thicker sheet because that gold glitter is very in your face and I wanted to make a bit of a visual triangle surrounding my photo so I put one in the center of that big flower and a little cross in at the top of one of those other flowers. These enamel dots are from the Pink Fresh Studio Indigo Hills 2 collection as well. Um, they came in the Sky Scrapper kit and the uh, PLK kit. So I'm just popping those in the center of the rest of those flowers that don't have centers yet. And I'm going to try to sneak a few more sequins in. So I'm just going to use the same white, white pink, <laughs> I guess I would say. It depends on the, um, the angle of the light. And I'm going to tuck those in some of those empty places just underneath all the little um, petals in between the flowers. They're just the perfect little glittery accent. They pick up the light so nicely. And then I'll go in with some more little enamel dots once I've placed all these sequins. And we're just going to randomly scatter those not really thinking too hard about it. Another one in there. I think I use most of those little white sequins. And then with the enamel dots. So um, once I do this, I will go in off camera and sprinkle around some of my gold Kaiser Craft mist. And that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed joining me today. I had so much fun putting this together. Um, don't forget to check out Virginia's Facebook group. I'll leave the link in the description box. And uh, here come the close-ups. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time. Bye.